needs to make sure not to put himself in a dangerous situation. Like we said, we learned from Shmuel Anavi. Okay, fine. And he says, like we said before, that if you put yourself in a place of danger, it will take away from his chiyot. It's a Gemara Masechet Shabbat, Lamed Bet Amud Alef. Le'olam al yamod adam b'mkom sakana. Person should not place himself in a dangerous place. Le'yoman she'osim lo nes, because then he'll say, "Oh, a miracle will happen for me." Because what happens? Shema enosim lo nes. Maybe they won't do a miracle, you'll die. And even if they do a miracle for you, even if they do a miracle for you, you might lose from, you'll be deducted from your merits. That's why Yaakov Avinu, he says, I have been diminished by all the kindnesses you have done to me. What does it mean, I have been diminished by all the kindnesses you've done to me? And the Unculus says, there was the Iran's Chavatai Mikol Hasdan Kol Davan. My merits, my merits have been diminished. Hashem, you did so many miracles for me. I'm nervous that my merits were lost because you made so many miracles for me. Maybe I don't deserve the miracle. And you took away from me the merits in order to give me the miracles that I have. So therefore, uh, you see that a person should not put himself in a situation of danger because you'll take away from your zchuyot or maybe you won't get the miracle at all. And so too, a person has to make sure to do the same thing like you guard your health for, from protecting yourself from death. You should also make do an effort. Person has to make sure to make uh, pursue ways of effort by health, food, clothing, shelter, uh, good qualities for basic living, and to stay away from issues, or situations that push away those things that you need. And therefore, what? In Biru Munato, while still having clear Muna, he did what? That all this effort that he does does not bring anything closer to him. It's not because of him, it's because of Shem's decree. But at the end of the day, we still have to go, as the Shem decree was, we also have to do Ishtad Lur. He says, for example, Kashi Yesh Lebala Adamal Haroshota. Guy has a, uh, has a field, right? He has to plow the field. He has to take out like a kotami kol kotim. He has to remove all the thorns, like, ah, plant the seed, lashkotam, is no mayim, pour water. And then after he did all that effort, then he can say, okay, hopefully Hashem will make things grow. But imagine he's holding the seeds in his hand and he says, oh, I have a field. If Hashem wants me to have uh, wheat and sell it, it'll make it grow. What do you mean? You need to put the seeds in the ground. You have to do something. You can't just wait for fall from the sky. So therefore you see, you can't just sit there and not work the field and accept the shit. Oh, Hashem made a decree on Hashanah. I'm supposed to get money regardless. No, you have to do some effort. But how much effort? And what exactly is the effort? That's a little debatable. That depends on the person's emuna. So therefore he says, person, let's say he has a store, he's a merchant, he's a craftsman. They also are commanded to go out to their store and to make an effort and to realize that HaKadosh Baruch Hu in decree that everybody has to make an effort. Now, the person's parnasa comes to him by ways of the ishtalut uh, that he does for himself. It is proper that he should not be uh, uh, joyous and happy. On this that he has this effort that he does, rather what? And therefore intensify his hold on it, put his heart more deeply on it, because what happens? This will weaken his reliance on Hashem. The guy tells me, Rabbi, business is working, everything's good, I'm getting customers, I'm, my merchandise is moving. Well, oh, come to Shahrid, you need Zuhuyot. Which Zuhuyot I need? Don't worry, everything's good. I give my tzedakah. I come to Shul and Shabbat. So, dengue yes. What do I need to push myself for more? This is a person who became reliant on his job, reliant on his parnasah, and thinks that his effort brings him what he has, and therefore he, does, he thinks he doesn't need merits. He forgot that Hashem is the one who decreed all this stuff to happen, and therefore when you become too reliant, too happy, and therefore what he thinks that his job gave him, so therefore he goes more. He says, no, Rabbi, I don't come home at five. I, now I come home at six, because I want to do overtime. I got The grind is real. You got to hustle. You got you to, you, how you want to how you want to build a house, Rabbi? You got you to put an effort. You got to put effort. He's very machmir. When? Machmir and Ishtadlu. He goes to six till seven to eight. Now he comes home eight thirty. Why? Because you got you got you got to hustle. You got you got to go and do the extra hours, the overtime. You got to work where nobody's working, right? So therefore, this mentality is when you're too reliant on your Ishtadlut and you forget that the Kadosh Baruch Hu is the one who gives you, depending on if you have a Ishtadlut, we have to do. It's a decree. By the sweat of your brow, you will eat. 
but do you fulfill the decree and how much you have to fulfill it is not how everybody thinks. Do not think that this, because you chose this effort, this is why you make more than the other person. Rather, it's dependent on what Hashem determined for the person.